But now let's talk about sleep because I am really loving sleep. Okay, you guys ready? You guys ready? David says, Dave, you need a shot of Polish vodka. Helping people to fall asleep for many years. Wink. Well, you know what a shot of vodka would do to me? You don't want to see it. And Quinn definitely doesn't want to clean up after it. And so it would be a great idea, except for the fact this body does not respond well to alcohol. And so <laughs> I don't know how I know that. Let's not go too far ahead of ourselves. Okay, let's talk about sleep here. So the problem I have is multifold. One is that I drink coffee and I love coffee and I need to be productive throughout the day or else I will die because I am self-employed. And so I want to be productive and I like the process, the ritual of creating coffee. I love the taste of great coffee and it does the body good. But I also realize that my days of consuming like five or six different coffees a day was not good for my sleep. Although those are very productive years of my life, all right? But here's the thing. I think everybody's heard that sleep is underrated. Like, I mean, who was it? Huffington Post. Um, was it her? Yeah, now she's on this sleep kick, right? She's teaching people how to relax, how to meditate, how to sleep more. And there's so many benefits. I mean, growth hormone when you're sleeping, of course, but also organizing your thoughts so you're mentally clear for the next day is also huge. And so I want to share with you a bunch of stuff that I do that helps me sleep and it become, makes me not only more productive the next day, I think it helps me be a slightly better human being because I'm not quite as grumpy as sometimes I can be because I can be grumpy. And just a special shout out for Daniel Kudish who just entered the room. Daniel, good morning, man. Um, good to have you here. Okay, now the first thing is my pre-sleep ritual, okay? And so Amazon delivers right to my house. Ugh. We seriously buy these by the case lot, all right? And so that is Yogi Tea. And so I've got a bunch of listed here and I can't get this next one in Canada. This one is the Soothing Caramel Bedtime Tea, which is also really good. And I think it was Tim Ferriss who first recommended it to us, but I can't get it here in Canada very easily. And so I go with this bedtime tea and it actually took me a while to get used to the taste profile. But after that, I love it. Every night we drink this. I, I now travel with this stuff. I just throw packets for every night in our, like in a Ziploc so that I can just boil water, have my night tea. And I'm not sure if it's a placebo effect that helps me get to sleep better, faster, or if it's just, it really is helping me. Who knows, but it can't hurt. And so that's the first thing I do. I stop my caffeine typically by afternoon. So by 12 noon, I won't have any more coffee. I shouldn't say caffeine because I will have tea in the afternoon, whether that's a matcha tea or even my favorite jasmine or black teas. And we'll talk about tea another day because I love my tea. Okay. And now the other thing. Oh, Lafayette says, yo, I say yo back and Colin is in the house. Colin, this is a call in show. <laughs> okay. Well, the next thing are these really, truly funky glasses. And in honor of Bono's birthday, am I saying that right, guys? Am I saying it right? Get these things, all right? Now, I'm not sure if everybody's heard about how blue is killing our sleep patterns, like blue light, like whether it's from a phone or whether it's from your TV, or maybe you just have a video light that's staring you in the face like me. But blue light is causing us not to go to sleep. All these hormones and stuff are just messed up. So what do you do? You get these glasses. And these are like the cheapest blue blocking glasses that I could find that actually work. And they're not expensive and they block out the blue light. And it's really quite wacko because if you ever have any of those LEDs near your bed that are charging blue and then you put these on, it just disappears. He said, where's my charger? It's gone. And then you take them off and oh, there it is. It's like, it's like bright and shining in my face. And so it actually works. Now, as far as the effects are concerned, I put these on when I jump into bed because I'm a bad boy. Okay, if you're perfect, then 
put away your devices, make your room all black, don't watch TV, no more screens, okay? I'm not perfect. And so I watch the news on TV while I read my news feed on my phone, but in bed, but I put these glasses on. And I find that my eyes can get more tired as I, and I naturally drift off to sleep faster versus my, ty- my eyes get um, dry if I don't wear them, which is kind of strange. But I mean, even if it's a placebo effect, they're not expensive. And bonus, you look like Bono. Right. Cool. All right. Now, next thing, and this is going to be pretty much a personal thing, what sleep mask you like. And I don't wear these every night, but we are traveling. And more recently, we were in Chicago, downtown, beautiful location, walk outside, everything is happening. Um, I got to walk in the, the Cubs celebration parade. Was, is that not amazing? But the night prior to that, we were in the hotel sleeping and it's really hard to sleep because there's like sirens blazing down everywhere, every literally 10 minutes, right? And so it's really noisy. And then we were just going up to Edmonton for a uh, volleyball tournament, surprise, surprise. And guess what? We are right beside train tracks and the trains are running throughout the night. What's a guy to do? Well, there's two things. One, block the light out, right? And so I like to use, this is the one that I have because it was recommended by, I think it was Tim Ferriss game, four hour body. It's not perfect and I've got like no, crown to my nose because I am Asian, all right? Asian problems, Uh, flat nose, right? But if you, I mean, try them out, see if they work for you. And then I saw, I put another link to another one down here because this is the one that they recommend from The Wire Cutter, which I also sometimes agree with and sometimes disagree with. The problem I find is that this is a really expensive pair of eye shades in Canada. Not so much in the States, but in Canada, they're really expensive. So go with the one that actually fits your face and so that you can block out the light. But here's the kicker. Okay, you need something to block out the noise. You need to like muffle out all the sounds of life so that you can actually get to sleep. So here is my magic trick. This is it, boys and girls and friends and family, old and young. Get this. This is... Run phones from acoustic sheep. Don't ask. I think a doctor made this by ripping out little headphone pads and um, putting them into this headband. Okay. Now, my pair is right over here. And they make one that's supposed to be for sleeping. But the problem is it's made of fleece. And I'm not sure about you, but I've slept on planes or tried to sleep on planes that were really hot. And I've slept in places that were really hot. And if I was going to put fleece over my head and over my ears, I would sweat to death. And so I didn't like that idea. But thankfully, the same company, Acoustic Sheep, makes these run phones, they call them, run phones. And so I got the run phones. And the material of this, can I show you the material? I'm not sure if I can show you the material. It's kind of, um, the fabric isn't really a sweat cloth fabric thingy, but, um, I don't know. It it isn't as hot as fleece. And I also find that it's much lighter than fleece. And so that's why I decided to go with this one versus their sleep phones. Now, these are not perfect. One, they are not going to be very good sounding (laughs) because you've just got these flat things for headphones inside and they, they shift around a lot. All right. And two, I don't know how robust they are. I heard I read a lot of complaints of people ripping them out and stuff. I'm not a very active mover at, when I sleep, and I'm a back sleeper. So, and I have not ruined the cord here, which is actually quite a generous length to plug it into your um, smartphone. And that just comes out the back of your head when you are sleeping with the run phones on. And okay, stick with me here. But the reason why I'm recommending these is because I'm going to share with you my favorite apps, and these apps are bomblicious, okay? Because they will not only help you go to sleep, mask out noise, but one of them will help you with mental clarity for focus, as well as help you with power naps. And this is truly my experience and not what their ads say. It's just, it actually works. And it's also worked on my 14 year old son, which is shocking. I forced him to take a nap. He didn't want to take a nap. I put this thing on him. He passed out and was shocked when he woke up. He was like, what happened? Yeah, anyways. Okay, so get those, because that's really cool. And then here's a couple other things that I truly, truly love. One, the apps. 
da, 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 da. There's three, three apps that I will recommend. And the first one is Brainwave, okay? Now this app, and you can get all the links, oh, right over there, DQ Sleep, okay? Now this app is so cool because they've got different patterns depending on purpose, okay? And I'm not sure if anybody's heard binaural beats, but you have to use them with headphones. Binaural beats have a different frequency and a different tone generated in each ear. And what that does is creates a third beat when it interfaces between your brain, because mine's hollow, okay? My head is hollow. And when that interfaces, your brain goes in sync with these beats. That's why it's called bi two. Neural. I don't know what neural means. Okay, you tell me. But yeah, it totally helps. And so I'm going to turn on the app here. I'm going to take off these glasses because I can't see anything. Whoa, it's so blue in here. Oh, I'm in shock. Wow. Wow. Woof. Bono's got to have like a great vision when he's got those glasses on. Okay, let's see if I can do this properly without destroying myself. Webcam. Uh oh. Webcam. Aha. Where are you? Okay, here is my lovely cracked phone, and I'm going to show you not my notifications, but my sleep apps. Okay, here we go. Brainwave. Now, this is so cool. And I've had this for years and years and years, and I love this thing. So, there it is. Power nap is my favorite. And remember your sleep cycles in about 20 minutes ish. So they've got these presets up top here and it's set to 20 right now, which I usually do for power napping because I, I can't really afford much more than 20 minutes during the day. But even the 10 minutes, I found mental benefits to just zonk me out with this, the headphones, as well as the sleep mask. And then to wake up feeling just a little bit more refreshed, which is always a good thing, right? Now, the other cool thing, you can have dreamy sleep, you can have lucid dreaming, you can have meditation, dream relaxation, calm reflection. I've never tried anger relief. Maybe I should. Yeah, I should. Okay. <sighs> Stress reduction. But really, I was in it for the uh, power nap. <laughs> okay. And there's also a deep sleep one and a, a, a deep sleep and a wake because you can actually set alarms on here. So after you're done your sleep, the binaural beats will shift and start waking you up slowly. Ben Chrisman just messaged me and said, love you long time, Dave. Tonight. Shh. Okay. Swipe up. Swipe up. Swipe left. Swipe right. Never mind. Okay. All right. Next going on. Ben, you just ruined me. You just ruined me. You little Ben Ben. I love you. Okay. <sighs> okay, next app up, My Noise. My Noise, My Noise, My Noise. My boys, my boys, my boys. Actually, my boys are really noisy, but then so am I. So poor Quinn has to live with us all. Okay, so My Noise is scientifically proven to not have those crazy repeating patterns, which if you are like me and my friend Mikey, we can lock onto repeating patterns of waveforms very quickly and you just stay awake instead of go to sleep because you're listening for the point where they looped the sound. Mm -hmm. Are you getting dizzy watching my hand yet? Watch my hand. You can also just watch this video over and over again and it's so boring that you can actually just fall asleep. Okay, but the cool part about this, and I'm crazy because I appreciated what this guy did so much, I bought all... Okay, my noise is not free. It can be free, but you can also customize it in different ways to suit your headphones or calibrate them. And you can also get access to more sounds. But really, I find like the rain and stuff like to be really easy. Like it's just really nice um, and it masks noise really well. Oh, darn. Okay. Um, all these notifications, what's going on? But the cool part about this, that was my garage, by the way. So don't steal my stuff, man. I've got sensors everywhere. You know I gotta geek out the house. Okay, but there's the thing. I love this because it gives me different sounds and the ability to calibrate any headphones I have so it can mask out any sound that I don't want to hear. And so when I was in Chicago, I could make sure that the frequency tones were louder on this app for the sounds of that were disturbing, whether there's an air conditioner, a fan, a train, or sirens, okay? And the other cool part about this is that they've got a smart mode where you can mix different sounds, and what'll happen is kind of like a mixer. And so if I go in here and I show you this, oh, come on, Dave, I can hold it steady, can't I? Um, and if I show you this spring walk, I'll just press on one, 
Do you listen to the lovely spring walk? But you could also make this change. I can animate, press animate, and I can just press select and watch the faders. They're gonna go up and down. And so what this guy did, this is a guy who's like a super nerd for audio and noise. He's like a genius. He went and recorded individual different noises and then he puts them into this program. Like the birds are different than the stream, than the trees rustling, etc. And it's changing over time. So it's not just one repeating pattern, but it's continuously changed noise, which is perfectly awesome. I love this. And so I really like this. I can fall to sleep to this. And I, I've tried other ones that I just can't fall to sleep to because they're just a repeating noise. Like even like coffee shop stuff that you hear online, you can hear it repeat and it just bothers me. Okay, so very cool app, get it. And then the third one is going to be Sleep Cycle. And this has been around for a long time. And I find it depends on how you sleep, but I find that the motion sensor on the bed is a little more accurate than the audio sensor, which you just put to the side to just use the microphones. But I know some people don't want to sleep too close to their phones. I put mine on airplane mode, so airplane mode, <laughs> sorry, so that I don't have any issues with radio frequencies killing my brain cells. So, but the cool part about this is statistics. If you take a look at my statistics, um, and I learn something about myself all the time. Look at this last night, eight hours. Ah, that was like the first time I had eight hours of sleep for like two months. So that was awesome, but I realized I need to wake up in two days at 5 a.m. to start driving, okay? So, okay, 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 enough notifications. Um, but here's where it gets really interesting, your trends, okay? You can press on trends, and you can see which days are worst for your sleep and which days are best. And when we were doing karate, I realized after, oh, and by the way, I've got like, how many? A thousand evenings of sleep in this thing, and I've actually reset it several times. <laughs> Nerd alert. Sleep nerd alert. And the weird part about it is I found that when that night came that I worked out hard at in the dojo, Wednesday nights, my sleep was horrible. And so it tells me that my body doesn't respond well at night if I do a very hard physical activity that that late in that evening. So anyways, really cool to be able to see those trends and you don't even realize it when you're when you're in the moment, but to be able to analyze it and actually make adjustments so you can actually sleep better is really cool. Wait, I'm missing these glasses. So I hope that helps you guys because these are the things that I actually use on a regular basis that help me sleep better. And especially when I travel, it matters when I get a good rest because whether you're doing it for work or play, you want to be rested so you can enjoy as well as perform your best. So that's it. Thanks for being here. God bless. I'm going to go back to the comments, but for the replay, you guys can always just fast forward as you wish. But we've got all the links right over there at DQ Sleep. Cheers and see you in the next live stream. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay. Dave Moss says, hi from Mexico. You're seriously in Mexico, dude? You were just here. How'd you do that? Teleportation is a real thing. Shocking, Dave Moss, have fun in Mexico. And I hope you have your sleep aids. I, uh, yeah, I, I hope so. MC asks, do you meditate, Dave? You know what? I don't meditate. And um, I know that's the latest rage, but I do, I don't think you would call it meditation, but I pray. And my morning routine, I go, I'll go over that another day, but I do pray and I do like to take a moment to in throughout in a day before I start the day. That's my best time anyways, to really focus on something that's not me or not my to-do list. That's not my email. And, um, we can talk about that another day. That's a great question. Vlad says I'm napping right now. Wake up. Just kidding. You can nap. I want to nap with you. That sounds awkward, but no, and not, not, come on, get your mind out of the gutter. Okay, well, David says, do you pay attention to how late in the day is your last meal? Since I started making sure I don't eat anything past 6 or 7 p.m., I sleep like a baby. I go to bed late, midnight or later. You know what? That's a great question too. And um, I'm, I'm a weird beast. And um, 
I think everybody's probably seen that I'm going keto or trying to or just going through this. Um, but we are a weird animal because we work from home. So we have really early suppers and because our boys have activities at night too. So we're eating supper sometimes as early as 4.30 or 5 p.m. And since I've not had carbs, uh, which is going to be a week on Thursday. Is that tomorrow? It is tomorrow. Oh, wow. Crazy. Um, then... Yeah, we don't. I don't eat pretty much past uh, six or seven p.m. And um, not only does it help sleep, but I think metabolic metabolically, you will also um, have a lot more benefits as far as energy, growth hormone, re- regeneration of cellular structure, blah blah blah. But yeah, good point. I really like that, David. Dave Moss says, yep, second shooting for a friend. Always have my sleep aids. Dun, 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 dun. Awesome. Lennon. Hi, I came to see what the topic is today on Dave Daily. Oh, yeah. It's about sleep. And you're a mother of two children, so you can't do any of this. Because, well, you can, you can wear the glasses while you watch TV and, like, look at your screen. Maybe, maybe, yeah. But, I mean, you can't wear headphones because you have to listen for your babies. Yeah, sorry. But you can have tea. Tea is good for you. Tea is always good for you. Mwah. Love you, Lennon. Okay, uh, zip sleep here. Oh, but you still look great. Your kids are doing so awesome. Kristen and Natalie love you. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, that's it. I better get ready for the meeting because you're going to be here in literally five minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got to go. Mwah. Love you. Bye.